Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft update. We got things coming. My semester just ended. I finished my last project and I submitted it Sunday, Monday, and today, Tuesday, which is December 22nd. This video is gonna go up Thursday or Friday. I finally, I just, I just took two days and I did stuff, but I didn't schedule anything. Christmas is coming up. I intend on doing no scheduling until next Monday. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about my schedule for a brief moment. Then we're gonna talk about build my thing. And then we're gonna talk about the Discord revamp that's coming up, the behind the scenes stuff. So quick note about my schedule. Clearly, so next week, as you can see, this is totally empty. And then in January, my intro to game design class starts. It's four hours a day, Tuesday through Friday. Chances are I won't be using uh, any of the time outside of this to work on the class. That's just what I presume because it's a very lab based class, but this goes on for three weeks and then small break and then my semester starts. This is the hypothetical schedule, but you know, in an optimal world, I'd be able to do all this. So that being said, um, I'm gonna make time for Minecraft over winter break because I've got some things to look forward to. Um, I'm also gonna be, you know, keeping up my lifestyle and Katano videos. That's another main priority over break. Those videos, Seashell game development and Oinkcraft are my primary goals for winter break. Going right into that, uh, Build My Thing. So Build My Thing is a game I have entirely planned out on an app called Notion, uh, Build My Thing here. This link is public. I think it's in the updates channel somewhere, but the whole thing's been planned out. The code has actually been started. Pretty much the idea is that if, you, if you've ever played Scriblio, it's Scriblio, but you, you build instead of you draw. So my goal is to get that out during winter break. Not gonna do anything until maybe Saturday or Sunday because my theory is that if I just make myself do nothing, I'm gonna get bored to start something. So next week at the latest is gonna be when I start all of this. We got, we got a puppo. It's a Max, it's the Bubba Max. Why are you licking, what are you? What's on? What's... Build my things, gonna be my main development task over the next two or so weeks. And I'm probably gonna stream whenever I work on it. Um, usually with my laptop streaming gets pretty intense because I have to run the server where that I test the plugins on. But yeah, maybe I'll send you guys a screenshot of when I'm gonna do those streams. Next few days, I'm taking a, you know, a break. And if I get bored enough, whatever, I'll work on Seashell or I'll work on Build My Thing. But long story short, Build My Thing coming this January. I don't expect this to bring in traffic all of a sudden, but I do think it'll be fun. So going from Build My Thing into the Discord server revamp. Been conversation a few times about what's the plan, what's going on. And I apologize for saying things like, ooh, behind the scenes. I, I guess my two main things, I didn't want to promise something and then totally change my mind and be like, actually, we're not doing this. And also, what was that other thing? Oh yeah, I didn't want to answer the same question over and over again. So this is the answer to that question. When I was 15, I figured, you know, I'm going to enjoy running this Minecraft server while it lasts because I won't be doing it when I'm 20. Guess what? I'm 20. Did I ever release my eight officially? It doesn't care. I think I've just always been elusive about it, but people, people know. So we kind of want to embrace, you know, the whole community's growing up. People aren't really coming in. We sometimes join Minecraft. One thing that we noticed, we being the admins, a lot of people have been posting projects from plugin development to making songs to game jams to, you know, even little writing pieces and stuff they've been working on. Music being posted, art being posted. It's been wonderful and we've loved it. So what we wanna do is we wanna transform the Discord server into a, a community of hobbyists is how I'm going to put it. You know, a focus on personal projects. There will be a gaming section of this server because you know, at the heart, Minecraft is a Minecraft community and I would love for these two communities to interact with each other somehow. Minecraft is a creative game at its core. Perhaps we'll make it even more general to just games in general. So real quick, here's Discord. Um, oh, if you haven't already, go to my Twitter and vote on chocolate milk, for milk versus strawberry milk, please. So um, Zaf, CJ, and Cairo have been the main ones helping out with this. And so these are the ideas that they've kind of come up with. And I've, I've gone through these and I'm gonna come up with a conglomeration of them. As you can see on the left, it's pretty much the same, you know, structure in general. Rules and info, updates and events. These are Zaf's ideas. Minecraft specific, other games, which, and I think Minecraft and other games is a really good split. Your guys' feedback is important as well, by the way. So you can either leave a comment on the video or you can post in the off topic or whatever channel on Discord. Either way, your feedback's important, we'll listen. For me, I'm thinking maybe hobbies would go above Minecraft just because of how we want to change the server. This is uh, Kairo, so this is pretty lengthy over here, but you know, if we didn't want to be short, this would kind of be it. We would have general sort of discussion, programming, art, creativity. In, a, in an ideal world, we'd have a, a, a different chat for different games, so like Among Us game nights. But CJ brought up a really good idea of doing these like events that are, you know, Jackbox TV games. So the community doesn't need to purchase a game. Among Us, a lot of people have already. That Those would probably be grouped up into like a, just other games and stuff. And community, I really like this idea of a community tab. So separating general from community. 
and then Oink revamp. And I believe this is CJ and CJ kind of, I believe he took Kairos and Zafs and kind of combined them to give him his own twist, which you can see here. So party games, RPG, Jackbox, party games. In a lot of ways, that's that for the Discord revamp. For my main YouTube channel, I'm starting this thing. So there's more context in the actual announcement video for this on my main channel, but I'm starting a devlog essentially for my game because I'm really needing to commit to it. And I decided that I would take, you know, the devlog format and turn it into something. And that something is in the accountability community. So the idea is people can comment on the video with what they've been working on and I can shout them out in the video or I could ask Zaf how a software thing is going. We could have a small one minute live conversation in the video, something like that. And then I was thinking further and I was like, well, it would be great if this community could exist outside of YouTube comments. What if I made a discord server? Cause a few people have left comments on my videos saying, well, three people, but they left comments saying you should make a discord server. And then I realized we already have one. I just want to be clear with something. The idea to revamp the discord in this fashion came way before my whole YouTube accountability community idea. CJ, Zaf, and Cairo, as far as I know, they've watched the video, but they haven't been against the idea. I'm thinking of making the Oinkcraft Discord, this hobbyist community, into the community for this, I guess, devlog series thing. In no ways am I trying to override Oinkcraft or anything, but I think it would be a good way to, you know, bring in more community members into the Oinkcraft hobbyist community, because that's who I want to attract with these videos, is people working on their own personal projects and a group to be accountable with. The idea for the Oinkcraft revamp stemmed a lot from servers that were, that were about being productive, and we want to focus on the niche that our community members already are focused in. That is, you know, small personal projects and hobby thing. Plus a small bonus, I know a lot of people have asked about it like a veteran rank. I'm thinking of just making like a pink winker rank to give to everybody before I launch this server publicly to to my lifestyle channel. And that'll be like the third or fourth devlog video. So late January, early February. So yeah, the Discord revamp for Oinkraft is happening. It's on me now to kind of combine the servers into taking everyone's ideas and combining them into one. And we're gonna execute that early January. If there's a lot of negative feedback from people, we'll try to adapt that. If you guys have suggestions on how the channels should be formatted, let us know. Essentially, we want Minecraft to be bigger than just Minecraft because a lot of people no longer focus on that in a lot of ways. Minecraft won't be totally excluded, of course. One of the things I would love to do is do like weekly game nights because, and I know I've said this before and I know this is digressing and I know this makes the video longer, but this last semester I was taking an extra course load and I was doing a bunch of extra things that I'm not gonna have next semester. This is like the ideal week that I created for myself, but obviously I don't think any of this is gonna happen. I don't want Seashell to be every day. Video work might not take this all up. And then I have 7 p.m. personal time. The point here is my classes start at 2 p.m and go to 6.15. No, exception here and exception here. Making these weekly game night things happen. When I put in these chill hour blocks, that's what I call them at least. One of my thoughts was this would be a great time for Oinkraft stuff, like community events. And there's stuff on the left I, you know, obviously haven't applied. So that's like the long-term plan is that this Discord revamp is gonna happen. We might have a, I don't know, we might have a bunch of people coming in. I'm excited to make videos in the devlog style is what I'm trying to say. More on that in the video that I have yet to make. I've recorded it, but I'm thinking of re-recording it in a style like this one. But yeah, those are Oinkraft plans. So for January, this big Discord revamp and then build my thing mini game. And maybe we'll pilot sometimes for the game nights because I think that would be super fun. Oinkraft has a budget. I've never looked at it like a budget, but we have one. So updating Discord, you know, buying Jackbox Party 5 for a moderator so that they can run an event. That's stuff that we should do. And I've been neglecting it for a very long time. That's it. As always, don't forget to let me know your thoughts, your suggestions, your ideas, what this makes you think about in the comments below or on Discord. Again, probably better to be posting Discord just so we can create a, a discussion, a conversation around it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me no, or tag Zaf or CJ. We'll keep you in the loop on the Discord revamp. But yeah, looking forward to a banger 2021. And of course, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome.